Hello Lava friends, today we talk about the prune command, the number helper and additions to chop chains and batches. Let's get started. The prune command in Lava can be used to get rid of old model entries from the DB, but there was one restriction so far. Not anymore. So here when I'm trying to use the prune command with PHP artisan model prune, it will fail here because my models are not in the um, app models directory like for default applications. So what can I do? So what you could do already before is using the argument model and here define the model class itself. This works, but this is a little bit yeah, annoying because you have to do this for all the models that you want to support. But now with this new PR, there's a better way using the path argument where I now can provide the path of my models. And in my case, it's context, newsletter, and here my model was found, which is a campaign model and three records were being deleted. So this works now as well. And there's a nicer way to do this. Thank you, Dabo. Now let's talk about the spell method on Larva's number helper. So here I have a number 11 and with the spell method, I can get this number spelled out, which is 11. If I change this to 110, this also works. But now we have some new arguments that we can provide. So first the after, so this means after a specific number, we want to spell it out. So after 10, this is where we get 110. If we use 10 now, you can see we get the number 10 now. With five, it's also the same, we get the number. And there's also the opposite of after, which is until, which works here, yeah, just the opposite way around here. You can see five works and with 50, I get the number again. So yeah, this is now very useful to use with the spell command. Thank you, Kane. Now an update on chops just for you. So here I'm dispatching this chops. I'm providing an ID, which is one. And what you already could do is here, use dispatch if, where you need to provide a condition as the first argument. In this case, true, or I could use this patch unless. So this was already here working for the job, but not for yeah, some other parts of the framework with jobs. So for example, for a batch. So this was not working before, but now with this new PR, we can use this patch if and unless here as well. So let's use this patch if, and of course, I'm providing here now a Boolean, which in this case is true. And again, this now not only works for batches, but also for chains. And yeah, you can see this already works and we can use the unless as well. Thanks to this PR, you can now use those methods more consistently over jobs. Thank you, Frankie. That's it for this week. Have fun with the new features. Let us know in the comments what you like the most and see you the next time. Bye.